Hello everyone, it is Sweet Shot. I am joined once again by my wonderful co-host Baxta, and we will be casting this match between uh, Team Angel and uh, Team Rocket here. The last map, or the last map and match of the season in Sevo Open. Um, a lot riding on this, don't you think? I would agree. They've got to come up. Angel's got to come up with a big win here to be able to have any chance at pushing forward into the playoffs and hopefully a shot at the semifinals. Indeed. Now, Rocket is sitting at six and one. They they've had a good run here. Angel, unfortunately, starting a little slow here, but they have won their last four in a row here. And uh, they're expecting to win this one as well. They need 16 to 5 or better to have any chance of qualifying for playoffs. Um, a little bit of rivalry here too. I don't know if Sky is going to be on the enemy team. No, he will not be. He is, uh, he is a backup for Team Rocket. And he is actually a, f a friend and former teammate of a on Angel. That could help and hurt Angel both ways. I say one because he could stab his try to stab his old team in the back, and two, he could actually that that idealism of the team that he used to know has also switched out currently with the team that is set now. And that could play into Angel's favor knowing that the new team brings its own characteristics into this game that they may have to plan for instead of the inside knowledge that they had. Indeed. So, uh, Team Rocket already in a playoff spot here. They have nothing much to lose here, but they need to be careful not to take Angel lightly because they have been picking up steam recently. Uh, key players for Angel, Good News, and K-Day have really shown a lot of force for that team. And uh, even if they were to try to get some information on Angel, all of that information, as you said, has changed, and they do have a new lineup now, new strategies, and a new style of play. So I'd say Rocket doesn't really have uh, that much of an advantage coming into this match as they might have hoped. Like you said, Angel's still looking for that quick win here, or at least the stomp start, to keep their momentum up for the second half of this game, because they're going to need it in order to secure any hope of having a shot for the playoffs coming up here in the next week or two. So hopefully their new planning, knowing that uh, Sky was on the had been moved over to Team Rocket, uh, has played out well for them, and the next couple of maps, uh, excuse me, the next couple of matches will tell that story. Now everyone appears to be in here. Uh, no, we are still missing Case on Angel. He still has not joined his teammates on CT here. In the meantime, they're just going to run around and have a little bit of fun. We'll also bring back the action once the match actually starts, so stay tuned. Hello, we are back, and we do have five in the server for both sides. Case suffering a little bit from technical difficulties, but we are ready to kick things off here. It is not live, or no, it's live. Live on three, okay. Here we go, the restart's coming in. Angel on CT side here. Uh, they are well known for their aggressive play style here. We'll have to see what they decide to do first round CT, whether they want to be passive or do something a little unorthodox here. It was meant. It would should be mentioned that there was no uh, first round knife to see which side who was playing. Yep, they are not required actually by SIBO to do that. That is just an optional thing they can decide to do for sides. I guess they just agreed on what sides they wanted. Now uh, we have Laffa's already dead here. So things going Angel's way so far. 
School is about to get peaked. We will see Trek go down as Case does a smart thing and falls back. Now he's going to push, actually. A is being taken. Case taking down Nom. And Scruffy managing to find the return on Case. But now things so far do look in favor of the CTs. They are relatively healthy. This is this should be an easy win for them, Temper, taking down Scruffy. Now Amora is healthy and he's looking to see what he can do. Finds Treg. 10 HP. Can he do one more shot? The flank coming in from K-Day. Treg dropping. 1v2 here. K-Day, what can he do? He's coming around forklift. He sees him. He's pinched. It looks like he's gonna wanna peek Amora first. Can he get Dre? He cannot. Can he get Amora? He cannot. He's running for his life. He gets shot in the back. And the pistol round that looked to be going so well for the CTs has completely fallen apart here. And the terrorists have taken the first round. Anything you think they uh, they did wrong during that pistol round, Baxter? I would say that they committed too much to B, or at least mid. They got pincered pretty good with that force push to mid. Uh, even though Case got the first pick, it did not stop the rush, which was surprising from uh, a start set for Team Rocket. And that pretty much set the tone for the entire rest of the match, the uh, play by play until they pushed an A. Laffa taking down Case here as the terrorists do look like they want to contest mid and Case, the mid player, was the only one there that could have offered any resistance. Trek getting taken down as well. This is a pistol round so we aren't expecting anything big from Angel but any guns they can drop will be huge here as Dre gets taken down to 18 HP. Now we have k -Day and Temper coming in here to see what they can do. Temper engaging at mid room will get dropped there and now it is all up to k -Day, and he will get dropped as well. Dropping three terrorists relatively low, laugh at a 49, but just not enough firepower to kill any of them. The nade probably could have gotten all three. Let's see if they use that same strat coming in. They pushed, they committed three to four that round uh, mid, so we'll see if they play that or they push B. Indeed. Not going A again. They're going A. And what can we expect here from Angel? They do still have their pistols up as Case got a little too aggressive and he got taken down. He will not see vents. He will get dropped. K-Day, can you grab that bison in time? Laffa is ready for it. I don't think they'll be able to capitalize on this too much. I might have spoke too soon actually. Laffa getting dropped quite low here. And he will actually get dropped there. So now we do have two CTs left and we have guns for both of them. So this is definitely winnable. It will be difficult for them, but this is an eco, remember. So they are doing quite well in making this round expensive for the terrorists. But a win here would just surely help them out even more. Dre is really low. Scruffy getting taken down. Can they find Dre? He is at forklift. They will find him. Now it is a 1v1. But Amora really healthy. 100 sitting on him. And K-Day with only 10. He needs to defuse the bomb. He's about to get peaked. And what timing by Amora to peak just when the defuse was going to happen. Unfortunate right there for Angel. But they did a good job at making this round expensive for the terrorists. They did not want it to go as down to the wire as it did. Let's see if the terrorists uh, continue to stay focused on pushing mid and A at, with this next round, knowing that both sides have guns. Looks like they are positioned close to mid. One will be a boost box. He will up case. That is an M4 down. The rest of them still have guns, so things can still turn around quite quickly. As Treg is about to find himself in a world of trouble, he will take down Nom. He will fall back. Laffa will try to spam through the smoke. He will do a little bit of damage, but he won't be enough to actually kill him. So now they're doing smart. They're playing passive. Laffa is about to get taken down. Barely survives that while blind. Good news, Temper coming out strong for Angel right here. 
as we will have Amora and Scruffy here still alive. Make that just Amora. Oh my god, he misses good news and he will get dropped. That is an op loss for the terrorist and a round loss. Perfect, exactly what Angel needs right now to get themselves on the board and to reverse the momentum of this game. They played that mid push very well. They kept a 2 1 2. Uh, Katie was there, Vince to hold, and everybody played their spots very well, got their picks, stayed alive, and let's see how this next round turns out. An op on, t an op on uh, Kade and an op on Good News. I'm really interested to see how this pans out here for them as Case watching mid, but not with an op as Kade has one at B, and I can only assume, yeah, Good News watching main at A. And now we have a little bit of a slowdown here as the terrorists are trying to decide whether or not they still want to contest this B now that they know K-Day is sitting there with an op. Flash is coming out for Angel. So they know that if they try, they're going to face heavy competition here to try to take B and that they will not get out unscathed here. But they're still looking to try to peek in and maybe get a pick or two to even the situation as K-Day will drop one. K-Day will drop two. And that is three so far in the round for him. That is four. Can he pick up the ace here? Amora waiting for it. What is he going to do here? As K-Day with four HP. Is he going to want to go for it? Temper's going to push and he's going to get dropped. That's K-Day getting dropped as well. Amora with a nice double here, trying to stay alive to see what he can do. He's got a bomb on him, a small advantage, but he's about to get flanked here by Treg. I think he expects it, but he is not looking in the right location right now as Treg could easily come up behind him and uh, do some work, which he is about to, and Amora just not paying attention to his flank, trying to see what he could do to reverse the outcome of that round. Agreed. I believe that when they started, uh, when T side started to slow down a little too much and try to get a pick or two, that gave K Day all the time in the world to get those peekers advantage sets uh, pushing into B, and that played very well for them. Oh, they're doing a full commit to B this time. They are saving. I see a CZ. K Day will drop one. Can he get another? He will drop two. Checkers is about to take him down, and they're taking checkers. Two and checkers, one in sight here. As kills are starting to come out here. Rotates also. This is a doomed round here. They have to know it. Oh my god, they managed to take out Temper and Case here. And now it is a 2v2 and at least a gun here on Nam. Oh, there goes Nam and that gun. Now Scruffy all alone here with a pistol. What can he do here to see if he can quench this round? Can he drop good news? He cannot drop anyone and the defuse will come out here for Angel. Exactly what they need. 3-3, three, three, off an eco, but if they keep going like this, this could easily be winnable for them. I agree. And it, the dynamics of Team Rocket here within the first, say, five rounds, now going on to six and seven, they're really still getting aggressive and they're more it's almost a an equal match for aggressiveness between the two teams so hopefully angel can still hold the edge here as we go into the seventh round oh it looks like they want to contest mid a little bit and treg will find nom and now already the strat not going the way they wanted to as we do see the terrorists are stuck in their tracks so to speak Trying to figure out where where they should go, what they should do. Trying to let the CTs settle. Maybe they'll over rotate. Vents have been broken, uh, but it doesn't look like any of the counter terrorists are ready to budge just yet. Case confident in his ability to hold mid here. You will see one on top of the building, on top of vent room, and he will get pushed here. A little bit of fire taken down here. Good news will come to his rescue. As now we have three coming out here, Laugh and Dre both get dropped and it is all up to Amora in main with that op. He should save this but it looks like he doesn't care, he will get dropped there by Treg and Angel will take the lead for the first time in this match. I think Case is doing a good job of figuring out how this team is operating and he's pretty much got their number at this point. So. Pulling out a few trick plays, Team Rocket's going to really need to step up their game and switch things around in order to throw CTs off. 
Looks like mid again, they're not giving up. Case is about to show them a little bit more punishment here. KD will take Dre. Laugh is still outside of B there, we can see him. But Case will let them oh, take this flank Toxic. Egg. Yeah, this is an interesting development here. As uh, Treg will and get that flank fine. It does. Laffa has the bomb outside of B, so even if his teammates do manage to take B or A here, which they have, or have they, and they have not, I should say, even if they had managed to succeed, the bomb would have been in no good position to actually do anything with it. I think they were expecting them to over rotate, but Temper was not that easily fooled as he does have Laffa's number here, just waiting for the right peak here. And he will take down Laffa, but I'm sure they're kicking themselves right now for allowing the plant to go down in the first place because that is money that the terrorists desperately need and that the CTs just want to keep away from Rocket right now. I agree, and that trick play was exactly what they needed to step up their game for and actually try to get that bomb plant granted. They didn't give as many picks as they needed A for anyone going B uh, to be less covered, but as far as getting that bomb plant, that was successful. That bomb plant did what it what it aimed to do. We have an up, we have AKs, we have near full nades on the terrace, so they are ready to try this one more time as we have two going towards main, an up and an AK. And the rest are hovering around mid here to see what they can do. Flash is coming out B, but it's not going to matter because all the action is going to be focused on A here as we see Nam managing to take down Treg here. And now the call will come in and the CTs will have to rotate here as we have good news. Holding it with the AWP, that is beautiful from him right now. He gets two, can he find a third, he sees him come out, blue door, he misses, he's got the CZ, super low, three kills coming out, K-Day finding revenge here, but this is turned into a dangerous situation very quickly from something we thought the terrorists could not do. K-Day with the headshot. 4 HP on Amora, but I don't think he realizes. Now this is going to be dangerous. He needs to go for the defuse, but Amora, he's got an AK. One bullet is all he needs if it's well placed. K-Day, he's going to try to go for the defuse from cover. The op will get picked up. What is he going to try to do? Is he going to try to spam through it? No, he will not. The defuse came out. And KDA losing that op, but I think the round win is a little more important to him than that. That was a well-placed nade set, so if T didn't hear the bomb go, and it played well into him being able to uh, hold that bomb defuse behind cover. That was perfect, and even though Amora realized something was up, just the positioning, they obviously didn't think this through. They planted the bomb in a position that was not advantageous for main. And KDA managing to take advantage of it as, oh my god, look at this stack on mid. Case taking one down, Dre finding him. Now, the, the smokes have come out here, but they are ready for it already. They just know that Rocket loves to go mid already. And they are ready at spools and Toxic to deny, to deny them entry into A. So, they are going to... Regroup here momentarily. Scruffy taking down Temper. B is their destination. Oh no, the barrel of the gun. If he sticks his head out now, Amora will drop K Day. K Day, I think he realizes it now. He's gonna back off and try to reposition himself. He's gonna eat a nade though. And K Day still alive here. Imagine to find one. Good news with the flank. Amora with the miss. This is exactly what they need. He needs to push right now. He's blind, Amora gets dropped, and the defuse will come in, and that was beautiful work right there. Good news, flanking in time, and Amora with that off could not handle the double peak from K-Day and good news, and he had to pick one, and he picked wrong. Looks like it's going to be a lighter buy for the T side with this AKs and 190 and see how they use that 90 effectively doing a complete commit push B here. I am expecting big things from that. They have money. The AKs could have come out. The P90 was definitely an on purpose buy so I'm interested to see why they would go to such lengths here as the stack is outside of B and they realize it here. Dre will pass and he will get dropped to 13 HP. The nade coming out 
Okay, they, the call has certainly come out, but I don't see the rotations coming in just yet. They're being a little bit more passive about this. As B has been fully taken here and invaded, he's trying to hold on. Temper, K-Day doing work. The smoke's coming out. They're actually hiding Temper more than anything. Dre dropping here. Temper getting dropped in return. K-Day, Case. The returns are ridiculous right now as Scruffy is all alone here. He doesn't see Upper. He's going to get dropped to 7 HP and he's going to get taken down there. Just Scruffy, a little bit of obliviousness there to not see case standing there oh an upper it was just poor play by him for that round noticing that that p90 buy uh, was enough for uh, nom to buy that op next round is a kind of fail safe save and we'll see that the other terrorists are only sporting a few ak up oh, we got two ops now and a 90 again they want mid again. Rocket has not been learning their lesson. They keep going for mid. Mid is the key to cash. It is true, but if you can't take mid, then you're just it's just suicidal to keep trying because every time they have they haven't been doing it effectively because they have their number now temper in vents. This is going to be dangerous if Scruffy pushes out here. Nom fanning K Day though. So, the T is off to even pegging here. They try to make things as easy as possible for them but Nom will find temper as well now this is what the terrorists want they want the advantage in numbers they want the advantage in positioning and they are going to look towards B now Nom with 11 HP though I don't know what more he can do to help secure this win for his team but he's given them the confidence boost they need that's for sure as Treg will peek mid and not find anyone Laugh out will get lit up a little bit by good news, so they know A is closed and that good news is not rotated yet. Good information for the T's to have as the push is about to come in. Upper is about to put a peak right here. Treg will get dropped. Amora did not check back a sight. Case with the double. Can he find Scruffy as well? Laugh out a little bit farther back. Good news will rotate into Upper. He will take shots at Laugh out. Now it is one on one for both of them. Case is busy with Scruffy and he will get dropped now. Good news, he has to handle these two. The bomb has not been planted so he can be a little more careful. They have 8 seconds to plant. 7, 6, he's going to go for the plant through the smoke. Can good news drop him? He will not. He will go here and try to get Laffa and he will drop from Scruffy. It was a good idea and a good play from good news but the aim just not there for him to take out Scruffy at the end there. And the terrorists managing to take an important round here, and they're gonna want as many rounds as possible going into this half. I've got to say that that last round was pretty much the crux of this whole ball of wax, if you will, as far as Angel pushing forward outside of hopefully winning pistol round on the next set. Let's see what happens mid. True enough here as B is again not going to see much other than Laffa who has been their B lurker so far in this match. They all are still over towards mid in that warehouse waiting to see exactly if they can repeat their miraculous victory of last round. Laffa draining his teammates. He's going to be the first to peek here as Case is still holding mid. And Treg finding himself on the ground here. Tr Case will peek. Nom will rush him. He will get dropped. Good news. Helping to support his mid as him and Case combined do a lot of work here. So now things are not going the way that they want right now. They wanted a cleaner win than this. Laffa managing to kill one. Dre. Oh, that's two for Dre. Now it is all up to K-Day. This has turned around so quickly. The terrorists using a little bit of teamwork here to watch each other's backs and take out the CTs. And K-Day will miss that off shot. All important and he will lose that off Asimov. And another round goes towards the terrorists. Terrorists are finally starting to feel out Angel as far as support goes and pushing mid successfully in the last two rounds that allowed them to take these critical runs away from Team Angel. 
Despite norms, uh, Angel is strong. Whether the map is CT sided or no, Angel has always been stronger on their T side as an aggressive team. You can understand why that is. But they do not want to give up rounds recklessly here as they go towards the half. They want as much of a safety net as possible here. As we do have good news dropping, K-Day will find a return here on Nam. And it does look like they're spreading out here. Scruffy about to peek a main. Treg has his number. He's gonna call that the smokes and the nades are coming out here. As he will drop Scruffy. Can he drop Laffa? He will. The rotation's coming out here. Dre will find one, but he has been dropped super low on par with Treg. As Amora will drop Treg from the door. Dre will get dropped before the bomb plant can come out. So it is 2v1 here. The bomb is down. And they are going to see what they can do here. To take this round and they do quite easily that is exactly what they wanted they wanted that they wanted to clean that up qu quickly and not let K-Day lose his op or anyone else lose a gun it would have been better if they had cleaned it more but they didn't want it to go to a 1v1 because those things are so dangerous especially with Amora who has proved time and time again so far that he has what it takes in those clutch situations to pull something out for his team. Alright, being the last half round here, everybody's buying out as best they can. See if it plays into CT's favor here. I like the as scout. they won the last two rounds. I like the scout we see on now, but it will not help him. SK they will drop him with that up. And now we are going to see Oh my! Laffa with the one AK. Case will get dropped. Treg will find Dre. And it looks like mid is again being contested, and they are getting ready for it. Treg knows it's coming. He is close to Toxic here, waiting for the push. Falling a little bit more back here, as K-Day will peek and drop Scruffy. Can he drop anyone else? As we see, Amora is right there waiting for him. But, of course, K-Day is going to be a good boy. He's going to be smart about this. He's not going to push recklessly. Uh, never mind, he will peek and drop Amora. That is bombed down here as Laffa is going to break vents without bomb and get dropped by Temper, not finding any solace in that escape whatsoever. As 10-5, counter-terrorists will have wanted more than this, but it is still a good half. And remember that they need 16-5, to roughly, to, in order to boost their CPI, in order for them to virtually guarantee a spot in the playoffs. Which, which means right now that if... Uh, if Rocket manages to take a few rounds more away from Team Angel, then their their entrance into playoffs will literally depend on everyone above them losing their matches. Mathematically still alive, but not exactly in the way they would hope. This is such an important round here. Let's see how this plays out as they commit to A. Uh, we have the strat coming out here for Angel, we have main, we have squeaky, the push is coming, the smokes are real, the action is palpable as Lapa will drop case, Trick will drop Nom, and popping up here, there is another kill on Dre, and this is going the way they want it to so far as Scruffy and Amora, Scruffy getting dropped here, Amora all by himself, he is at truck, what can he do, he is low, he is lit, 13 HP with that USP against three fairly healthy terrorists and the bomb is ticking firm. He managed to drop Temper, but good news will answer in kind here. Temper with that 23 HP, but they managed to pull out a pretty good sweep here. And the CT is going for Brokey. Yeah, I see I see CZ is here coming out for them. Uh, looks like they want to go for the armor and the P250 slash CZ by here. And uh, K-Day with that scout, I'm interested to see what he does there. Looks like we got a surprise buy from CT, see if they can hold something. Yeah, he's gonna get boosted. Perfect play today. Case managing to find what he wants, Laffa is hiding, will Case remember to check? He will not, he will get shot at by- Oh, Temper, smart enough to check. Now one more at quad. Case did not check. This fire is coming out here. Dre will finally get dropped. It's a little messier than they would want here. Amora is lit and he will drop Scruffy as well, finding a bullet to the face from Good News. That was a little messier than 
Angel would have hoped, but they did do what they set out to do, which was to win this round and to force the CTs into saving one more round. I gotta say that that last second buy CT from Dre uh, for that USP. Re I'm sorry, the oh, gun slipped my mind. But uh, buying an SMG at the start of the round kind of hurt him money-wise for this next two rounds. Oh, uh, Squeaky. Laffa wanted to push up close and do a little bit of work to Squeaky and it did not pay off for him as he got dropped. Good news, finding Nam, bombing planet as we speak here. And Amora managing to find a return with that USB on case. So they do, they should have a gun here if he can get to it, but it will be extremely dangerous for him. As the scout doing the work, dropping Amora low, but not enough to kill him as Amora will answer back in kind with that USB. Good news being a really key player that is true that is a third of the round for him he is just finding these frags right when his teammates are in the most need of them and temper doing a little bit of cleanup here on Amora now let's take a look here we have K-Day with that 22 bomb and all, all of the angels uh, quite healthy here when it comes to uh, their KD and their score really really showing why they, they have been dominating this game so far even even Treg and Case have been doing their part, albeit near the bottom of the scoreboard. The support players really shining for Angel. Those nades incredibly important for those takes. Let's see how this next match pushes as they start committing to A. I say all guns all around. This is important for them. Case chose not to upgrade. Will it bite him in the back here as the fire is coming out here? Treggy managing to find uh, Dre here. Nam trying to hold on. Case will push him. He will drop one. He will get dropped himself. We have Laffa getting dropped. And now we have a 4v2 here as the CTs do not want to lose this. They do not want to go back to an eco or a light buy at best here as Scruffy will get dropped here and what will Amora decide? Will he go for the save? It looks like that is his course of action or will he go for exit kills here with a quick peek out mid? I think he has chosen to hide here and will the chase happen or will they be content to let 1M4 slip away? from their grasp here as they have to worry about every gun being dropped a hindrance to the terrorists next round as the chase will come out one can he get two no temper will kill him but 14 to 5 this is going exactly how angel wants it to they need two more rounds if they can close this out and shut out the cts entirely then they they have they are virtually guaranteed a spot into playoffs here and this is it. We have light buys coming out here. We have a mag with a P90. We have a UMP and another mag. Some nades coming out here. If they can win this, if they can crush the CTs, they will be echoing next round for sure. And victory is all but assured. B commitment here going into the tie round. Match point round. Okay, we have good news and he's posted up. He's waiting for the smoke to clear. We have K-Day doing some stuff at mid. He has broken vent. There is no intense rotation. Amora will find Treg that is not looking good. And remember, every every kill you get with that mag is a significant boost to your money supply. As Scruffy will get dropped, a K-Day took more damage in return than he would have liked. He will get pushed from vent. What can he do? He finds Nom. That is perfect. That is brilliant from K-Day right there. As is just what they need. They know Dre is at the back of the site. They have one upper. He will drop into Case's crosshairs and get dropped himself. Temper is dead. Amora, K Day, and the counter terrorists from beyond the grave here to finish off K Day and Good News and clinch this round. And perhaps they have just dashed the playoff hopes of Team Angel with that one win. I'll have to do a little more math on that one, sweet, but I would say that was critical. A critical pistol half eco save round for CT coming out and winning big. Good news, taking Nam. He's angry. He's not taking any of this bullshit. He's ready to close this game out right now as he is going to push into sight with that nade. 
And here we go, Trey will find Laffa. Dre will find good news, a little bit of overextension here. The bomb will get planted, and we have Case dropping Scruffy now. And let's see what we can do here. Dre at work left, what can he do? 3 HP, not much. He's gonna get dropped. Amora finding the return here, as he is locked in a battle of wits here with two angry terrorists, and he's about to lose here, as he has been lit up completely. He will drop Trey, 1v1, can he drop Case? No! Case will find the kill, and he will push this to 15-6. Now, if they could just clinch this round here, nice and simple, then they will not have lost too much, and there is a chance, mathematically, that they can still make playoffs. Because remember, your CPI in SIVO is based on your performances in your matches. The higher your CPI, the higher your chances of making it into playoffs, because they have to seed you accordingly to your CPI. T is getting a little spread out here as they're leaning A side, going into this final match, hopefully. And now we were about to see Main come out here for Angel. Dre will drop Treg. Now what can they do here? Catwalk, forklift. Oh, this is not going good. There's only two of them left. Temper finding a little bit of revenge before getting dropped himself. Now what can KD do? He's got an op. And he's about to get flanked and shot in the side of the head, 15 to 7. Now Angel, Angel is really on the ropes here. They can win this map. This map is absolutely no no contest for them right now. They need one round and they are more than capable of finding it. But every round they give to the counter-terrorists dampens their chances of making playoffs. And they are well aware of that. So every round they lose is a round that they'll be kicking themselves for. Looks like they decided to do an eco on this push. They don't have much of a choice here. They want to save, they want ar armor, and they probably want an op for KD. So they are going to see what they can do. They've already... They've already panned out that they want mid. Looks like the smoke's coming out, and the fake going into B here. KD will get spotted going into vents though, so the rotation will come out here quite quickly. Elmora behind that box. Will they remember to check it is the important question that we will be asking ourselves when the push comes in. They did not check Amora with a beautiful double. And from upper, Scruffy cannot help his teammates. Amora with three. Amora, what can he do? He has six HP and three in the round so far. The flank coming in here. Can they drop Treg? They will. And they drop good news as well. And the Oh, the defuse coming out here for the CT is pushing it to 15-8 right now. And guns will be coming out here for the terrorists, but they're going to be looking at this this demo after this game, and they will be thinking to themselves, you know, where did we go wrong here? Because we we had this game in the bag, and one anti-eco, and they got crushed. Agreed. Hopefully their strat doesn't change from when they won the last one coming into 15 when they just pushed the living daylights out of one side or another and decided to get enough pick set and push momentum to secure them the round. So hopefully they don't wait too long and take advantage of that advantage that they know that they have being an aggressive team. I like this. We have one CT pushed up with sandbags. They will not check. Dre will have a field day on this if they do not check. The fire going out here. He will get dropped. That is easy. Now, what are they going to do here as the rotation's coming in? Amora will try to shoot them from mid. He will get one. Can get a second. They will fall back here. Nom is down. Lapa is down. It is all up to Scruffy here as Amora has been dropped. The bomb is about to be planted. This is GG for sure as Scruffy managed to find one. Can he find a second? He's going to drop Treg to 25. It is 1v3 here. And the nade finding Scruffy walking right onto it like a landmine. And that will be 16 8. <laughs> Good touchdown. That will be 16 8 for Team Angel. And a little bit of math needs to be done here, but we are hoping that this will be enough to push Angel, regardless, into playoffs. We have seen strong, strong stuff for them so far. <sighs> Any final words for this, Baxter? I gotta say that both Temper, Good News, and KD came out swinging this round. Granted, 
the two support players pulled up almost 15s apiece, a ton of extra assistance, and they they held together as a team and won the match fair and square. Granted, they didn't get they didn't shut out as low as they needed to to secure the win 100%, but overall they came out swinging way over the fact, proved that they were worthy, and hopefully their CPI will push them through to the next some for at least get them into the <clears throat> the next set of rounds before the semifinals and the finals, but at least they know that they can handle most teams on most maps. Back to you, sir. That is true, that is true. So I guess we shall see you all next time. Take it easy. There will be more from us soon. Stay cool, collected, and may your shots always be headshots. Good night.